Hello Libra, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. This is a general reading, remember, it won't resonate with everyone. So look at your moon and rising signs for greater clarity. We have got balance, spirituality and practicality, full moon and Pisces. So balance, spirituality and practicality. So you're on a spiritual journey and if you connect in with your spiritual self, it'll help you make practical decisions on how you want to go forward. You're very close to achieving your goal, you see. Gibbous moon, and that's because you are understanding your spiritual journey here. You're on the right path, you're on the right track, and you're just about there. And you're being very practical in the way you're going about things. So it's beautiful. You're focused, and you're being sensible about the way you're going about things here, Libra. The death card. Now, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with Scorpio in their sign, in their chart, rather. The death card, the three of wands, and the beautiful temperance card. Now, you're close to achieving your goals. You've had long-term plans here. There's changes. It's transformation. You're just about there. So, you know, this change, you're looking to the future here. It's a beautiful balanced energy, you're in a beautiful place and that's why you're able to achieve your goals. You're focused, you've got long-term plans for the future here, you're using a very well-balanced approach to life because you're understanding your spiritual journey here and that's what's going to transform things and that's how you're going to achieve things. So you're just about there, you're close to achieving things. The long-term plans here for the future, you can keep making them, you're being practical with your approach here. Uh, and you're listening to your intuition the whole time. Having long-term plans helps us measure our progress and that inspires us to keep going. So there's change coming in from the point of view that your goals are going to be achieved and you're going to transform life. You're transforming things through being sensible and understanding your spiritual journey. Now we'll clarify this death card because I want to see more about it. The Knight of Swords. The Two of Wands and the Six of Wands. So what's happening here is, you see, that you made your choice here. You've got choices that you've made. And through making good choices and listening to your intuition here, you've made good choices for growth. And it's enabled you to set plans for yourself for the future. Now, the world you're oyster here. You could go on, like I say, this is just the start of things. You achieve this goal, whatever it is, you're going to be able to build on it. You're going to build your own little empire. So whatever this may be, whatever the, the goal is, it could be starting up your own business, it could be educating yourself. Whatever you're inspired to do here, you're making a really good job of it. And you're only going to build and build and bring more success in. This is you getting the clarity you need. There might be choppy waters come in. Uh, mentally, you know, you might hit hiccups and you might have to think about how you're going to go forward because even when we're trying to achieve our goals, there's still challenges in life, but you're gaining the mental clarity you need. So you're thinking things out correctly and you're moving forward from choppy waters into calmer waters. And what's going to happen is because of your approach to things, you're going to move forward very quickly. So you're closer to achieving your goals than you realise. Now, this could be information coming in. So it's somebody bringing you information, good news. It could be a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius energy, or it could be you resolving things and moving forward very fast to achieving your goals. Beautiful energy, very fast moving energy. I think that it's going to happen when you least expect it. I think there's going to be a sudden surge. So for example, you know, if you're, if you're studying something, you're suddenly going to understand, you know, you're gaining a lot of knowledge here. You could pass your exams, you know, uh, the proof's in the pudding, if you like. If, you're, if you've got plans here to set up a business or you're developing a skill, things just click into place. The customers come in. You know, there's a progress, sudden progress with whatever you're investing in here, most definitely. We'll take three more cards. We'll take three more to clarify this three of wands energy. You're staying very grounded as well throughout this whole process. It could be you're trusting in yourself and your abilities of the universe. The Five of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, there's your stability again, two threes and fours, and the Wheel of Fortune. You're actually realising here what's changed is your a personal approach to things. You're seeing your, light, your cup is half full and not half empty. You're letting disappointments go when they happen. 
You're focusing on what you have and you're building on them. If you're feeling abandoned or left out, you're not bothered about that. You still understand the spiritual journey. You're focusing on your pentacles here and how you can build them. And that's where your success is coming from. And that's how your goals come to fruition. You're being grateful for the stability you have or what you have, whether it be within your job, your finances, your relationships or your environments. And you're prepared to look at things in a practical way and have long term plans that solve this situation and you're keeping looking to the future. You're not being dragged down by anything. You're staying focused. You're putting the work in. You're having a well-balanced approach to things. So where, even when there's disappointments here, what you're doing is you're bringing back the balance. You're emotionally balanced. And I did say I feel that you've got a well-balanced approach here, most definitely, and you're focusing in a positive way. Your mindset is positive. You're determined to achieve this goal. Definitely. And you're understanding the law of attraction here. If I'm positive and have positive thoughts, I will attract positive things into my life. I understand that achieving goals, there are going to be hurdles, but that's life. And that's part of my spiritual journey. So you're very practical and that's what's changed here. I feel the change. It, I feel you might even be having a second attempt at something. And you've got a different mental approach to it or you've got a different... You've got a spiritual approach to life now, and that's what's bringing the change in. That's how you're able to go from the two, which is your choices, the three, your long-term plans, and four, bring the stability into you, into your life. Victory and success and stability. There's growth here all the time. You're moving forward all the time. You might not realise it, but yeah, for some of you, you will realise it. You'll see the beauty in the situation. Um, you've got very positive thoughts, high vibrational thoughts that are going to bring the success in. And that's why you've got a lot of luck on your side. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favour. And there's luck um, and divine timing at play here. And because of your whole approach to life and the challenges that you're being faced with, you're able to resolve things. And you're moving forward very, very quickly because you're very positive to achieving your goals. You're listening to your intuition here. Now, intuition is knowledge. You go from black to white. Very intuitive person. You listen to your gut feeling. You're listening to your higher self. And you're using it as your guidance system. And you're creating beautiful harmony in your life. You're at one with yourself, you see. This is the spiritual card that I'm talking about. The intuitiveness of you. You're listening to your higher self. Um, and you're connecting in with your higher self. So you're at one with yourself. You're making good, well-balanced decisions. And creating, keeping the balance, keeping the head here in relation to your situation. And you're moving forward very, very quickly to growth. There's going to be a sudden movement forward to achievement, definitely. Whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, there's going to be a sudden surge forward. Because you've, you've learned the art of manifestation here. Hope. Hope. Beautiful rainbow. You see hope. There's always hope. There is always, hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. And that's your trust and belief that's bringing this change in. There's always hope. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.